students we are going to study the first chapter of class 8 uh, this is a rational number first have a look on its definition a number written in the form of p upon q where p and q are integer and the denominator q should not be equal to 0 this is a rational number for example 5 upon 8 is a rational number 0 upon 8 is a rational number minus 3 upon 8 is a rational number but you can say Uh, that seven upon zero is not a rational number. Got it? So uh, let us see what is the number in lowest terms. A rational number. P upon Q is said to be in the lowest terms if P and Q have no common factor other than 1 for example 3 upon 10 is in lowest terms but 15 upon 25 is not in the lowest term as 15 and 25 can easily be, uh, be uh, divided by 5 uh, uh, there is a uh, equality of rational numbers uh if we take the example 5 upon 7 equals to 10 upon 14 and if we have to verify uh whether these uh, rational numbers are equal or not um, uh, so we can use the cross multiplication uh, method 5 into 14 equals to 7 into 10 so 14 by 10 is 70 And ten seven is also seventy. LHS is equals to RHS. So uh, these two rational numbers are equal. Okay. Uh, some questions are also uh, frequently asked uh, uh, that multiplicative inverse. okay multiplicative inverse uh, this is also uh, known as reciprocal okay if we have uh, an example minus 3 upon 5 so it's multiplicative 
inverse will be 5 upon 3 of negative and uh, if we take an example uh, 5 upon 8 so it's multiplicative inverse will be uh, 8 upon 5 I got it <coughs> um, additive inverse is also uh, one of the frequently asked uh, questions in additive inverse we just um, uh, add a zero uh, add a uh, negative sign or remove the negative sign for example uh, minus 3 upon 5 it's additive inverse will be 3 upon 5 okay and if we have a, a positive rational number suppose I take a, a 7 upon 11 so it's additive inverse uh, will be minus 7 upon 11 got it uh, so uh, the next topics uh, we'll take in uh, the second lecture okay